Shamai everyone and welcome to this textile class. Today we're going to be looking at fashion. So fashion and textiles go hand in hand basically and we're going to learn more about fashion through the ages and we're going to have a main task at the end too. So I'm going to give you some learning objectives now so you can tick off what you need to do throughout the lesson. So today you're going to learn more about fashion and what it is and learn some different clothing styles through the ages. Understand the basics of how clothes are made and constructed. Learn some basic and decorative embroidery stitches. And you're going to be creating your own designer t-shirt and label using everything that you've learned in the lesson. So it's quite a nice lesson, guys. You get to be creative and experimental. What is fashion? So fashion is not only about clothes, but it is storytelling. It reflects a place in time and allows us to express ourselves through what we wear. So if you have a look at the clothes around your room, maybe, if you're in your house, what do you like to wear? Do you think it reflects you? Clothes are a really big part of how people perceive us. So, for example, if you're a really bubbly and friendly person, you might choose to wear bright colours. But if you are a more shy person, you might choose to wear dark tones. And you'll see that the styles of fashion have changed throughout the years as well. So we've got a little chart here showing all the different kinds of um, styles that have changed. So we start off with... 1915, 1916, 1917 and so on and these are usually informed by political events that are happening or other things that are going on perhaps in film or music. As we're talking about fashion styles and we should talk about fashion through the ages so I'd like you to take a little look at this picture here. We've got medieval, gothic, renaissance, baroque, rococo, and you'll notice this a lot in films. So if you're watching a particular kind of film, sometimes they get the actors and actresses to wear clothes from that time period because they want you to be immersed in that time. For example, I don't know if any of you have seen La La Land, but they use clothes from the 1970s and 1980s. But they didn't only make clothes for the look. So if you look at these, the 14th century, the 18th century and the 19th century dresses were probably extremely heavy and they were also corseted often, which would have been very uncomfortable to wear. So for practicality purposes, they've made them less long, less fabric and overall probably just easier to wear. So have you ever thought about how clothes are made and constructed? So there's a lot of work which goes into making one single garment and these are created with patterns. So you can see there the example I've used of the lady who's wearing the coat. All around her are the parts and patterns for making that coat. So whoever's made this has had to cut out all those little pieces in fabric before sewing them together. The majority of time to make clothes, you will need to know some stitches. So I'm going to walk these stitches through to you step by step. So let's look at plain slash running stitch then. This is probably one of the easiest stitches that you can do. Running stitch is a simple row of stitches creating a regular dotted line of thread. And I'm going to play a little video now so you can see the technique for yourself. Like so, then go over the top, back down and pull it through, like this. Now you have to go on the other side, back up, try and get them lined up. I don't think mine is very lined up, she says, like so, and then back down. So this is your running stitch, really really easy. So next we have baseball stitch and if you think of the American baseballs they're white and red you'll see the red stitching in between the two um, white types of leather. So baseball stitch is basically pulling two pieces of fabric or two edges together to meet and you'll often see it as well on sailing boats. 
stitch is a decorative stitch sometimes used in flower embroidery for the petals and then we have cross stitch so cross stitch is probably one of the most complicated stitches on there but again it is a really lovely decorative stitch that is sometimes used on garments so using everything you've learned about stitches about fashion styles through the eras maybe about decorative stitches what would be your dream t-shirt? Maybe have a look at these t-shirt designs now on the video and start thinking about how you would design your own t-shirt. Will it be informed by political events? Maybe current world issues? Or perhaps it's unrelated completely? I'd like you to think about how you are going to create your own t-shirt design as well as the label inside. In addition to this, maybe start thinking about how much you'd sell your t-shirt for and why. So I'd like to give you your brief task then, or main task. So today for your main task, I would like you to create and design your very own t-shirt and clothing label. So I've added a printable sheet if you can print it, but if you can't print it, please draw a t-shirt outline, a square outline, and a title on an A4 sheet of paper. So hopefully uh, in the file section, I would have uploaded this PDF now that you can print. But if you're in school, please just make sure to draw it out. And I'm going to explain exactly what you need to do now. Hi guys. So I'm only going to be quick on here because I know some people can't hear the audio if they're in school at the moment. So I've created this printable sheet for you if you'd like to use this called the Fashion Designer Challenge and this is for our task today. So what I'd like you to do is design your favourite t-shirt because you're going to be the fashion designer. So I want to see lots of detail including perhaps some of the stitches that we've looked at in the lesson. Maybe you want it to be different colours, maybe you want it to be rainbow, maybe you want it to be tie-dye. Just create something really fun and interesting and spend a lot of time on it, okay? And then once you've done that, what I'd like you to do is create the label for your brand. So sometimes in our clothes we have these labels inside that tell us where we got them from. I want you to design your own logo label and put your brand name next to it and maybe some writing that tells me what you think of your t-shirt. And how much you're going to sell it for. Okay, so spend the rest of the lesson now doing that and I can't wait to see what you make. If you don't have access to a printer, what I'd like you to do, get a plain sheet of paper, write fashion designer challenge, draw out a t-shirt outline and a square. Okay, good luck and hail for now.